Hi, so no one uh, really asked to see my Christmas makeup, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway, just because I want to. <laughs> and um, um, everyone's been doing Christmas makeup, like YouTube YouTube tutorials for Christmas makeup, so uh, I thought I'd do one. Um, so yeah, it's gonna look like this at the end. <laughs> um, so I already um applied. I already applied um, a base to my eyelid. It is Bare Study Max Paint Pot. You can use anything as a base. Um, and I already applied foundation. So then you're going to go and apply sort of a, a light peachy eyeshadow. I'm using this um, uh, Lancome palette. It's um, the color I'm using is that one. It's called uh, Impress, I think. I think it's called Impress. So, yeah. I'm using this brush. Um, I don't know. I got it a long time ago. It's really old, and I don't know who it's by. But anyway, so just apply that everywhere, all over. And um, in the inner corner, so now I'm going to take a red. This one is by um, Innocence, I think. And it's called bright red. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna take this brush by Elegant Elegant Faces. Just looks like that. It's really um it's really dense. So I'm just gonna take some of my red and apply it um to the outer corner in a in a sort of half circle. Great. Hi Audrey. <laughs> My kittens. <laughs> uh, and into the into the crease a little bit. Oh my gosh. Um <laughs> uh, okay. She was just about to eat my eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm not sure where the best place is to put my mirror. Um, I'm going to try my best. Okay, I think this is good. So yeah, so apply it into your crease, keeping that sort of circle shape. And um, do, it, it doesn't matter too much about the crease because we're going to intensify it later with a, a darker red sort of color. Um, but we just want to put a little bit in it so we can blend it out with um, with our blending brush MAC 217. Um, so yeah, we're just going to blend that into the crease and outward a bit and blend it with the, 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 the color on the lid too. Um, it looks kind of pink now, but we're going to just keep applying layers to intensify it. So just apply some more, just concentrate it in the outer corner. And just blend it. Okay, so now for the the crease color, back to that Lancome palette. Um, there's two browns, see, one uh, one here and one here. 
We're just going to take the one that's a more, um, a more reddish tone. And with our same brush as before, we're going to take the redder tone one. It's called, um, I think, oh, I think it's called Sparkling Bra Brown. And I think the one before that was called Avant Gold. <laughs> okay, sorry. It's just it doesn't really, not really, I, whatever. So yeah, just put that right in the middle part of your crease. And blend it to both sides. I feel like it, it gives it a kind of um, velvety effect and I really like that because velvet sort of reminds me of Christmas and all that good stuff. Um, so then take some more red and from the from the outer corner pack it on and blend. Um, so now that it's blended how you want it, um, take some more of the reddish brown with a pencil brush. This is the MAC pencil brush. And put a little bit under your eye, just on the lash line. And blend it up a bit with um with the red. Now we're gonna take um, a white eye pencil. This is Fascinating by Mac, and um, just put a lot a lot of this in the waterline. Cause we really want um the green we're about to put, we really want it to pop. If you have a really small waterline, you can put some a little bit under just to make make it look like you have a, an even bigger waterline. <laughs> she really wants to be in the video. <laughs> Okay, so now that you have that, um, take um, a shimmery or matte, but a really a bright green. This is um, by Lime Crime, and it I don't know I don't know if it, it's called anything, but yeah. So take um, a, a, an angled brush. Um, this one's sort of fluffy. It's not that thin. So just take just take some and you want to pack it onto your brush kind of getting the sides. And just make sure you don't have too much on, but you want enough that it's going to it's going to stick to your waterline. So just press it on. You don't want to you don't want to sweep across. You just want to keep touching. poke myself in the eye. Uh, okay, I'll be fine. <laughs> and you want to do it, do this all along the waterline. So, 
Now, you're going to want to put a little more of that reddish brown eyeshadow underneath just to clean it up in case you have like, in case some green has fallen into it or, or you got a little bit of the white eyeliner stuck in your eyelashes or any of that. So, just go as close as you can to the waterline. So now we can do the eyebrows. I'm taking a black um, brow liner pencil uh, by Avon called Soft Black. Um, so I'm just going to make little lines starting from the bottom. You don't want to press too hard because um, you just don't. <laughs> uh, yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect with the pencil because we're going to go back in with the brush to shape them. So now that you have just a rough shape like that, um, I wouldn't suggest doing a strong line at the top. Just go at the bottom because you can um, really easily manipulate um, that pencil upward. So just take a really, really precise angle brush, mine is from Sephora, and just sweep it along. And uh, so just pull, pull it upwards like this, and um, just sort of touching those little hairs to darken them. So just like that. Um, now I'm just gonna go back in with that peachy colored eyeshadow, just to um, just with my finger. Now we're going to do some mascara. This is Avon Wash Off Waterproof Mascara. I like this mascara for this look because as you can see from this brush, it's really, um, the, the product is really thin and there's no clumps in it. So it makes your eyelashes really dark and um, separated and long, but it doesn't have any clumps really and I find this um, really good if you don't if you're not wearing any eyeliner which by the way you can add to this look if you want if you really don't feel comfortable not wearing eyeliner um, but I think it looks more festive without eyeliner so just um, layer the mascara on you can even like you can let it dry and add more coats you just want the eyelashes to be separated looking yet dark and not no clumps
Uh, my cat is making really weird noises. Oh my gosh! Monster, get off of her! Monster! Um, my cats have been trying to fornicate. <laughs> um, poor Audrey! They're not, um, fixed yet. <laughs> oh my god. Um, anyway. Back to the makeup. <laughs> um, so, now for the blush. I'm gonna mix, uh, a pink and an orange together. These are Forever 21 eyeshadows. Um, because, um, I don't want this look to be too orange or too pink. It's kind of red. So, I think by mixing the two together, you kind of give, give off the illusion of a red, sort of. So, just... Here. <laughs> Just touch both of them with your brush. These are also really pigmented, so you don't want too much product. So it doesn't it doesn't look red on the brush, obviously. It looks like <laughs> just both colors, but it kind of it kind of looks red on. So just put it on the apples of your cheeks. The other cheek. I think I put a little too much product on this, so I'm just gonna touch the cheek from before and then put some. On this one. So what I'm doing is just putting it on the apples of my cheeks and then dragging it back in circular motion. Okay. Um, I forgot something in the eyes. Um, yeah. So we're gonna take this same brush from before. The really, it's it's fluffy and flat, sort of, kind of flat. Anyway, um, so we're gonna take this. Um, Tarina Tarantina, uh, Tarantino, uh, it's called, I don't know what it's called because the name washed off, but something, sparkle, something. Um, anyway, it's the gold sparkles, so we're going to take that and just put it on, uh, on our tear duct area, and up into the onto the lid eyeshadow and into this corner and it blends it blends the this um the the crease eyeshadow and makes it not so harsh right in that corner okay now for this um, highlighter is called Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC, Soft and Gentle. Um, just take this brush that I use for my blush, um, it's by Quo. Just take some of that and we're just going to put it on the tops of our cheekbones um, and around our eye. Into the temple. Okay, now for the lips. Uh, what I'm going to do is take a really um, nude, neutral, matte lipstick. This is by MAC. It's called Honey Love. Um, it's just like regular sort of nude. Just put it everywhere on your lips. There was a, a little fiber from my brush. <laughs> anyway. Uh, 
So just make sure that really soaks into your lip. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna put um, a lip gloss on. This is um, Glazeware Avon lip gloss. It's kind of in like a, a light berry color. You can use anything. You can use even a clear one if you want. It doesn't really matter. Because um, we're going to put uh, a red lipstick over it. And it'll just give kind of like a red sheen. It's really nice. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So. This goes everywhere. So now, um, take any sort of red that you want. This is also by Avon. Wow, I'm using a, a lot of Avon things today. <laughs> um, this is called Poppy Love. It's a really bright red. Actually, it's way different on the camera than it is in real life. But anyway, uh, so yeah, just go, just dab it on. Actually, it's really orange on the camera. It's not orange at all. Um, yeah, my camera is not very good. Okay. So that is the finished look. Um, yeah. So you can add um, eyeliner. You can um, you can add anything you want, or do the eyebrows differently. Because obviously, not everyone can pull off or wear black eyebrows, especially if you have um, light hair. Um, oh wait, I forgot to put concealer on. So I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm just going to take this um, foundation brush, it's really small, um, and take MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I'm just going to go under my eyes with it just to clean up anything that has fallen. This is the finished look. Um, so yeah, uh, this is my Christmas look, and um, it's very Christmassy. It reminds me of velvet, and it also has some sparkle in it. Um, you really, uh, I need a new camera, but <laughs> I'm sorry that this webcam is really not good. Um, but anyway, so this has been a really long video. And um, I hope you liked it. <laughs> I hope it was useful, and I hope to make another video soon. Bye.